All right, check it out. We're gonna watch this video right here real quick. Compton Rick Rock calls out Rich Trapper, but he calls him uh, uh what what do you call him? Broke Trapper. All right. If you don't know who this is, these are two fellows, fellow homies, YouTubers, content creators that both pulled up to the hater world. Uh, Rich Trapper pulled up first. Compton Rick Rock pulled up second. They didn't talk about each other on the pod. They didn't diss each other. Uh, nothing to do with anything. Uh, but I thought it was funny when I saw this title. Uh, I was busting, dog. I was laughing when I saw this video. And that is just Compton Rick Rock doing what he does, creating content. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this together. Uh, but before we do, before we do, let me announce next week's uh, guest real quick. Monday, this Monday coming up. We got Lux Tattoos in the building. That's Monday, uh, September 2nd, all right? September 2nd, we got Lux Tattoos pulling up 8 p.m. 200 Boys Podcast. You know it's going to be Opina, Blue Devil, and Droops, and our guest Lux Tattoos, all right? That is Tuesday, uh, 8 p.m. on the 2nd of September, all right? Meanwhile, let's go ahead and watch this video, get you guys a Blue Devil reaction, Send in the request, request the music, and we'll jump into that right after this. So with no further ado, let's go. See you today, sir. I'm going to talk to you today, sir. Young old man. Yeah, broke trapper. Now let's get into it. You had a whole lot to say about Rick Rock yesterday on your channel. I don't know if you could comprehend good, but the message that you put out, I don't understand where you even found that at. I, my whole thing was them dudes threw up a picture with, with, with disrespect in the seat. You supposed to be from 6 0, a wannabe from 6 0, a dropout from 6 0, probably got kicked off the set from 6 0 and took your ass to Atlanta. Did he say a dropout? A Compton Rick Rock. We don't use those words on YouTube, my boy. Those are prison words. That's what the dropouts would say. That's not what we would say. That's what the dropouts would say because they want to feel safe. They want to feel like like, like you're, you'll be condemned if you use these words. Like, what are you talking about? You can't use these words. These are prison words. So why is uh, Compton Rick Rock using these words and he's been to prison? There you go. There you go. It's only the dropouts that don't want to use those words. Let's continue. That's why you in Atlanta and talking about you selling tacos. You couldn't have been selling tacos out here because the Mexicans got all the taco stands in the corner sold up. You ain't been selling no tacos because you ain't out there selling tacos. You know how I know you ain't selling tacos? Because you're on the internet for morning, noon, and night. Your wife over there doing all the work. You ain't doing nothing but sitting your ass up in that house with them Obama phones that you got. You ain't even got no good equipment to even be doing content. You should. Hey, Rich Trapper, my boy. I rock with you, but right now you're looking like the Mugroso way. Rich Trapper, if you don't know who the Mugroso is, go look it up, fool. That fool sits in his car, records himself, and acts like he's a f celebrity, my boy. And I'm not saying you're not hood famous or you're a celebrity. I'm saying you're looking like the Mugroso by filming yourself like this in the whip. You know. Hey. Compton Rick Rock does have his equipment up to par. He does have the big boy cameras. He does have the mics and all the expensive shit. But sometimes I will tell you this. Sometimes you don't need the expensive equipment. Sometimes people will attach themselves more to people they can relate. So if you can if they're relatable to you because you in the whip and you thugging it out, hey listen, sometimes people flock to that more you know so sometimes you don't need the heavy artillery sometimes you do but from my perspective rich trapper you're looking like the mugroso my boy let's go didn't even doing no content man talking about me i got good quality shit over here 
Yeah, I got good quality shit. My sound sound good. I can stop the video, pause it, show you everything in the background. You ain't doing that. You sitting behind a raggedy ass picture that you didn't got in the yard sale doing content, talking about everybody on the internet. You don't know how to create content for one. All right, so he said he got the good equipment. Shit, I want to floss. I got a good equipment too. Shit, let me show you guys. This is angle number one. Angle number two. And angle number three. So, hey, I got the good equipment too. Look at that, three TVs. Plus, I'm staring at three more. That's six TVs, my boy. Six TVs. No, 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 no. We didn't smoke the TVs. We got six TVs. Let's continue. You don't got no original content. Get them kids back, them ugly ass kids that you got on your Instagram page. Man, and I ain't talking about your kids. You know good goddamn well them kids is ugly. Yeah, it's like you were selling meth when you was out here in L.A. and had sex with one of the clients. That's what it looked like, broke trapper. You ain't got no money, man. The more change that you didn't got during the EDD PPP era, man, that shit is turning brown. It ain't even go get that shit clean. It ain't even gold no more. I got 60000 in jury. Well, if you got 60000 in jury, why you didn't buy no taco truck when you was in L.A. and still been... Hey, but I will tell you, I will tell you, uh, Rich Trapper did have some nice chunky chains, bro. When he came over, he had some nice pieces. I was like, damn, that fool, that, that fool nice. Like, what he got on, he had a bunch of nice ones on his neck, and he had some rings. He looked fly, dog. He looked fly. I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to lie. You know, uh, Rich Trapper did look fly when he came through. All right, let's continue. And out here running the taco game. You ain't, ain't nobody buying no goddamn taco. 1080p. Some tacos in Atlanta. They eat steaks and, and fried chicken and all that out there. And I've been seeing you on your page acting like you a squabbler. Yeah, I've been seeing wait, wait, you with wait. the MMA. But look. Where the fuck did that glove come from, homie? That fool straight pulled out the glove out the back of his. You know what? That fool, either the, he edited that glove in or the whole time he's arguing, he got the glove on lockdown here, my boy. Let's see. Eat steaks and, and fried chicken and all that out there. And I've been seeing you oh, on your page shit. acting like you a squabbler. Yeah, I've been seeing you with the MMA. But listen, I ain't no MMA squabbler. I'm an in-the-backyard squabbler, in the middle of the street squabbler, in the prison cell, getting down squabbler. I do all that. Them the kind of squabbles we do. And you're going to be lucky because you don't get no gloves, broke trapper. If oh, I get it. Basically, he's saying, hey, Mugroso, we don't need 10000 we don't need a contract. We don't need Suge Knight as the referee. We, we don't need Pelonchis in a tanga with a little sign that says round one. We'll handle it anywhere. We'll handle it in the backyard, in the alley, in the prison yard. We'll squabble in the bathroom. Pause. Damn. What happened to needing 10,000? So you're telling me that Compton Rick Rock, you're, you're telling me that Compton Rick Rock will fight for free, but you got the Mugroso requesting 10,000? Super chat, super chat. But this homie right here, that's a bigger name. Been with all-star rappers like The Game and all these big dudes. It's in the middle of the urban culture hip-hop community. We'll fight for free. But the Muroso that somehow thinks he's a movie star wants 10000 Make it make sense. Somebody make it make sense. Man, these fools be feeling themselves too much. They do one little uh, a musty ass podcast, and all of a sudden, shit. Hey, if you want me to go to your shit, I need ten k, my boy. Shit, ask about me. I film in a car. Let's continue. You want to get it in? I didn't told y'all. I didn't told all you content creators the other day. When you get on this internet and you run your mouth and you hide behind your camera screen and you be gangster, pull up and bag it up. 
You ain't doing none of that. You, Wax, 600, I've been seeing you dissing all them. Y'all ain't taking no face. Well, I'm different. I'm gonna give you what you want. Pull your ass up out here if I gotta give you half the money on your plane ticket because you demonetized, so I know you ain't got all the money to pay for the plane ticket. You demonetized. I didn't already heard your page is demonetized. And you know how I know you, you, your page is demonetized? It ain't because you ain't had a haircut in a few days. I see your page now. You used to be clean, shaved up. Now you ain't got no shade. You ain't got no haircut. I cut my shit bald like this before I wear all that gray that you wearing. You young old man. You stressed out because you demonetized. You ain't got no money. Your tacos ain't selling in LA. They not selling in Atlanta. That's why you got all that gray in your shit. You look like you old, like you stressed out. You over there smoking all that weed, trying to put a cover up so can't nobody see you smoking primos over there it seemed like all oh wow primos hey listen i don't think you could be a youtuber if you smoke primos i don't think you could pay attention to anything going on if you smoke primos primos is such an addicting drug that bro you can't do nothing you all you think about is how to get the next primo that's all you think about how to get the next p dog how to get the next hit how to do this you there is no way yet you're that you're uh, functioning off primos, my boy. There is no way. So I don't believe that. You're wrong for that one, Rick Rock. You're wrong for that one, my boy. That one you are wrong for. Come on. Come on. Man, my stomach hurts. I'm going to take a shit now. See what happens because you're thinking about primos? Come on, my boy. Come on. This was says you can't smoke scante on YouTube. That, that you could. I'm saying like function, fool. You can't function. You know, you, Escante, you could smoke some and, and be up, fool, for days, fool, and be cool. Uh, primos, you can't, fool, because you want the next hit, fool. Like, that's like a five-minute high. You're faded for, like, five minutes, fool. Not even faded. You're tweaking for five minutes. And once that shit's gone, you want another and another and another. There is no, let me smoke this and kick it, fool, for, like, three hours. That don't happen, fool. You know, that don't happen. At least not with, with, primo, with P-Dogs. You know, uh, so you wrong for that one, Compton Rick Rock. Come on, my boy. All right, let's continue. Dread of Virgo clients is dope fans, and I ain't got nothing against Summer Dread. I'm just keeping it 100. All them dudes sit over there doing smoke weed all goddamn day, and that don't be no weed. That be stuff sprinkling that weed. I bet you if we break one of them blunts down, a whole lot of white shit will fall out of it. But look here, broke trapper. I'm gonna tell you something. You got the right one, baby. Come on down to L.A. Get from behind your screen, talking about you got Tatiana using them Obamas, them free phones. That's how I know you using phones and free phones and shit. You ain't even got no good shit. You ain't got no good shit. You ain't got no Sony camera. You ain't got no webcam. You ain't got nothing. You over there squatting down, back hurting like a motherfucker, sitting on the bucket. You ain't your girlfriend <laughs> in the background trying to pump you up because she telling you, nigga, you better do good this week or you getting your ass kicked out of my house. Hey, yo, Rich Trapper, my boy. Rich Trapper, you can't let this fool do you like this, my boy. You cannot let this fool do you dirty like this. You cannot let Compton Rick Rock do you dirty. That fool said you're sitting on a bucket, fool. Like one of those little purple Home Depot buckets, little orange ones. Come on, homie. You ain't even got no padding on that bitch. Fuck, fool, that shit really be hurting your ass when you sit on one of those motherfuckers. Like, come on, he doing you dirty right now. I, I, but listen, I have faith in my homie Rich Trapper, and I know he going to come back with a, with a gangster-ass video, all right? I believe in Rich Trapper. Let's go. Yeah, you getting kicked up out here. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, she going to leave you because she don't want no nigga that sell tacos. It's, she got a job because I only hear her in the house at certain times of the day. So I know she got a job. You ain't got no job, broke trapper. Talking about you rich trapper. How is you rich trapper? I ain't seen nothing rich about your ass. I ain't seen you do a vlog and jump in one of your Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, or Ferrari yet. I be seeing you in that old ass Tahoe from the 90s, the one that Biggie Smalls got killed in. I be seeing you riding in one of them. You riding in one of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm not going to lie. When Rich Trapper pulled up, that fool had a Tesla, my boy. I'm going to call it like it is. I'm not going to lie. All right? When that fool pulled up, that fool had a sick-ass Tesla. I'm not going to tell you what kind. I, I'm not going to put the homie out on blast like that. I'm not going to tell you if it was the big one with the Lambo doors or the race one. I'm going to tell you that fool pulled up in a sick-ass whip, dog. 
You know, I was just like, damn, I thought I had a sick ass whip. That motherfucker banging. So I'm not going to let you do wrist trapper like that, number one. Number two, I do know a rapper that does have one of them Biggie Smalls fucking SUVs for, and it's green. But I'm not going to tell you who it is. As a matter of fact, two, three motherfuckers that I know have one of them Biggie Smalls dead traps, my boy. All right. Big as fuck. I'm not going to tell you who it is. The big square ones, too. Square, green, all it needed was the bullet holes. That's all it needed. All right? But I'm not going to tell you who. All right? I'm not <laughs> going to I'm not gonna tell you who. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, but... Listen, my boy, let's go. Let's, let's go before I get in trouble. In them tie holes, you ain't even got no new tie hole. So you can't be no rich trapper. You was broke trapper. You broke. Yeah, you broke. Stop putting them signs up smoking them primos because it's doing something to your head. For you to say something about Rick Rock, have this, and then you say Rick Rock threw his blue rag in the trash can. If I did throw my blue rag in the trash can, what you going to do about it? And what other, ain't no Crips going to do nothing about it. Where the video at? Where the proof at? Go get the proof and go get the video of me doing it. If you ain't got that, shut up. You come drinking, taco selling, dope fiend, bent over in the back with a yard sale picture, talking on Obama <laughs> phones with them ugly ass kids. And this is how I know you was, you demonetized again. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the f for you cannot diss the kids, my boy. You cannot diss the kids. Rick Rock, fool, you are wrong. Do not diss the kids. Do not diss the... Come on, homie. Them kids can grow up to be the president, my boy. They can grow up to be scientists. And you about to kill these kids, fool. Come on, my boy. You can't do that to the kids. Leave them kids out of it. Facts, my boy. Leave the kids out of it. <laughs> Salute to Riz Trapper and his kids. Let's go. I seen you post a video on your Instagram page. It was the first day of school for your kids, the one that looked like he got Down syndrome. Yeah, and I'm, I'm God forgive me. I, I know you go forgive oh, me. Oh, hold on, I can't press play on that. I gotta fast forward it. I gotta fast forward it. Rick Rock is tripping right now. R come on, it's comedy, we're having a good time. It's enjoyable, I like this video. It's unique. It's different. This was roasting Rich Trapper. It's all fun and games. But we cannot go and and allow the playback of the disrespect of the children. That that we can do. At least I'll tell you like this. Southsiders, we don't get down like that. All right? And I'm not saying that's their thing. I'm just saying as a human being, I don't think it's right. Uh, and a lot of homies that I know that, that would never. But there is homies that would. You know, there is some ghetto, dirty-ass, grimy-ass fools out there that would. You know. But I'm not going to. All right? Salute to them kids. Let me fast forward real quick. Think they could fight because they be seeing their daddy in the gym with them, with them fake old boxing moves. Hey, come on, man. Get them kids some new shoes. You getting that county check. You getting them, 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 them. You getting them free Obama phones. What is you doing with the money? Is you smoking all the money because you're skinny? Your kids over there skinny? I ain't seen your wife yet. I want to see her put her in front of the camera. And if she's skinny, I know you. And I know you didn't make love to one of them meth head clients that you got and moved to Atlanta talk and sold her a dream that you got cousins out there that y'all going to sell tacos and y'all going to get rich because ain't nobody selling nigga tacos in Atlanta. I know that's the dream that you sold her. But you ain't doing that. You not selling tacos because we don't even see your taco truck. We don't see your taco stand or none of that. So where you selling tacos at? How's you selling tacos? Do you got one of them old ice chests with the meat up in their spore? Selling them people that shit, giving them diarrhea. And for those that don't know what he's talking about, uh, Rich Trapper says he sells, he has a taco stand. And he makes money selling tacos. Dope hustle. You know, most people associate that with, with, with paisas or Mexicans. But listen, that hustle is not only for Mexicans. That hustle is for stupid writer G. Green. <laughs> hey, listen, we're not going to talk about the Southeast L.A. Michael Myers, all right, homie? Leave him out of it, bro. Leave a <laughs> leave the Southeast Michael Myers out of it, fool, all right? Leave him out of this. Uh, let's get back to the taco thing. 
the tacos is for anybody. A hustle is a hustle. You don't got to be black, white, blue. Hey, if you could hustle, you could hustle, my boy. Let's continue. Come on, man. You, man, you, you capping, man. You broke trapper. You're not a rich trapper. You're a broke trapper. So stop. You're not even a trapper. We should just call you broke. Because I ain't seen, like I say, I haven't seen nothing that resembles money yet. Show the whole house. Get from us, get from in front of that bullshit painting that you didn't stole when y'all didn't broke in somebody's house. That's probably where you got it from. You didn't get it from a yard sale. Y'all didn't climb through somebody's window. You and Drago the Virgo's clients did climb through somebody's window, and that's the only thing that you thought you had a Picasso. You thought you had something worth something. Everybody else then took shoes and clothes because you went and hit a lick with some dope fiends. You ain't hit no lick with no real gangsters that's going to wait for everybody to come home and tie everybody up and get the money. You ain't doing none of that. You went there and took paintings because you thought you had a Picasso. You thought you had a real painting. Yeah, you ain't got no money, man. Knock it off, man. Take them old fake-ass chains off. I paid 60000 for them. You begging, whack 100. Give me a fade, whack 100. Run the fade. I'm, whack ain't fist to fade you. He not fist to, he ain't got nothing to gain fighting you. What you gonna do, put your girlfriend up? You ain't got nothing. You don't got nothing that's worth fading. Y'all talking about celebrity fights. You ain't no goddamn celebrity. You was a bum. <laughs> you hey, that's funny how when fools be like celebrity fighting, celebrity fighting, but, uh, but the Mugroso records out of a vehicle. For a celebrity where? Celebrity wear, fool. Celebrity wear. Fucking Duno went and did a hoof log and not even the fucking cockroaches came out. Poor Duno. Duno thought he was going to get a bunch of goons. Duno was like, hell yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of goons coming out. Man, the little cockroaches didn't even come out the fucking hole, my boy. What the fuck is people talking about celebrities? Fool, nobody's a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. Rick Rock, not a celebrity. Rich Trapper, not a celebrity. The Mugroso, for sure, ain't no fucking celebrity. People need to stop, homie. People need to stop, fool. Motherfuckers couldn't even get the crackheads to come out, fool. Like, dog, when you see my behind the scenes, I could, I could have 20, 30 homies right here kicking it all the time. You know, like, fool, these fools did a hood vlog and you couldn't even get the little homie to come outside. That shit is wild. And cut it out with the, oh, they don't want to be on camera. Cut it out, homie. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, they don't want to be on. Man, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut the cap. They just, they just don't fuck with you. They just don't fuck with you. Let's continue. Ain't no celebrity. That's why I say, listen, man. I wish I would put on some of these and get you and get you a fan. You gonna get some of these. You gonna get some real knuckle combat treatment. You ain't getting none of these. You see how soft this shit? I, I, I can bite this shit. This is soft. Yeah. You ain't Mike Tyson Holyfield. Yeah. You ain't. You, I wish I would. You gonna get some of these. Catch your flight to L.A. Let me know when you land. I done already told you, YouTubers, you YouTube busters, about getting on YouTube. Running y'all mouth, acting like y'all tough, cutting y'all camera on for an hour to 30 minutes and, and, and talking that gangster shit. Now we gonna eliminate all that. I'm gonna be the first prime example. Win, lose, a draw. Bring your ass to LA. Come on to LA, nigga. Put the tacos down and come to LA and I'll meet you or you can meet me in Compton. I'll show you how much rank I got in Compton. Yeah, i show you. Come on to Compton. Come on up in them grandies. Or you can go anywhere, but you won't be using no gloves. You gonna get some knuckle combat. And we could put some of this YouTube money up. You talking about you only made this much money on YouTube. I don't be on YouTube all day. I ain't trying to, that ain't even my hustle. That ain't my job. I hey, it'd be dope if they both put up their, their, week, their monthly revenue on YouTube. Like whatever they make. Like, you know, every 30 days you get paid out on the 21st on YouTube. So if each one can put up their bread, like, look, I'll put up my entire check on YouTube. Let's do it. That'd be tight. That'd be a shit. That'd be something to see, especially if they're both down. But if they're not down, then fuck it. It is what it is. Can't crucify them for not wanting to fight. Shit. You know, a grown man going to do what a grown man wants to do. 
catch little suckers like you, flip them upside down, go in their pockets, have them looking like rabbit ears, and send them out. That's, my, that's one of my old jobs. Don't make me go back to it, broke trapper. Don't make me wait for you to get off the plane. I'll be right there at LX and you think you're going to get a squabble as soon as you get to the location. Take them broke ass chains off. Y'all run them down to the pawn shop and see if they real. If they ain't real, we're going to kick his ass some more. Captain Rick Rock with Captain Rick Rock TV. Get your broke ass off my channel. And none of my subscribers better not go over there and follow this sucker. Y'all go over there. I want my subscribers to go over there and listen to his audio. And y'all going to know off the back them was free phones. And come back over here with this good quality sound. Give your kids back their phones. Hey, fudge. Hey, listen. Somebody should sit in the comments. Would you be cool if you dissed your kids? That's why we didn't play the kid part at all. We're not into that. We don't condone that. Hey, listen. We don't know nothing about that. We were just watching this for entertainment purposes. It was hilarious. It was funny. Uh, hey, good content. Good content. Now I want to see Rich Trapper uh drop his video rich trapper we waiting for you my boy we want to see you drop a reaction to this or drop like a uh 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 a roast we want to see you roast compton rick rock and look compton rick rock i don't know what rich trapper said or what's going on but my boy it ain't that serious it ain't that serious it, it, no fighting needs to be involved you know it's some stupid youtube shit that doesn't mean anything, you know, unless these fools have already exchanged words like the B word and, you know, disrespected hoods and gangs and kids, which we just saw this fool go at somebody's children. But I don't think he meant it in that type of way. I think he's just having a good time with it, you know, uh, but sometimes other people do not take it as lightly as you do. All right, with that being said, salute to Rich Trapper. I love my boy. We're going to react to your video when it drops. And salute to Compton Rick Rock, both guests of the hater world. And we are not picking sides. We rock with both of them. All right? And with that being said, uh, let's get into some music. Request the videos. Let's start playing music now. All right? Let's go. <laughs> 